Okay, so here we're going to go through uh, an example uh, uh, showing you how to work with frequencies and how to turn uh, arrays of data into frequencies and frequency distributions. So what we're going to do is we'll start with um, an array of data. Uh, and again, remember, just an array is just a list, right? Just a list of observations, of, of points of data that we have to work with. Uh, and so we'll start with an array here of color names. And so we've got, let's say, red, and then blue, green, uh, blue, purple, and then let's say we've got another green and one last green. Okay, so we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven observations in our data. Uh, and this array of colors now, we have a variable, we'll say this variable is called color. We can turn this array now into a frequency distribution uh, in which we've got our variable name called color in the first column. Uh, and the second column is going to be for our frequencies. So we'll create this little table here. Uh, and we'll say for color, we've got an R for red, and we've got a B for blue. We'll use a G for green, and a P for purple, for the purpose of our table. And now that we've got our column of colors here, uh, that represent all the different colors in our data, we just have to count up the number of times each color appears in the array. So uh, there's one observation for red, there are two observations for blue, three observations for green, and one observation for purple. And if we total up the frequencies, we'll see get our sample size, or n. So 1 plus 2 is 3, plus 3 is 6, plus 1 is 7. And so we've got a sample size of seven colors here uh, that we've taken from an array and turned into a frequency distribution. So this is one example of starting with an array of data and then creating the frequency distribution from that array. Okay, let's move on and do another example. Uh, this time, let's just say that we have uh, an array of answers to a survey question um, on a survey. And let's say this array, this, this particular question was a yes, no, or maybe question. Okay, so yes, no, or maybe. And so we'll say that we have answers of yes, yes, um, maybe, no, uh, yes, no, and, and then maybe, and maybe. Okay, so here we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight observations in our array. Uh, and then we've got the opportunity now to take this and we can turn this into a frequency distribution and see what the frequencies are for each of these answers in our data set. So we'll create a frequency distribution. We'll call this variable answer. Uh, so that'll be the name of our frequency distribution variable. Uh, and you'll see that we've got here, uh, we'll use a Y for yes, we'll use an M for maybe, and we'll use an N for no. And we'll see now that we can count up the frequencies. We see that there's one, two, there are three yeses. One, two, there are three maybes, and two nos. Okay. So now that we've got those filled in, we can count up and add our total frequencies together to come up with our sample size. So 3 plus 3 is 6, plus 2 is 8. And here we've got a sample size of 8, and we've created a frequency distribution where in these data we can see that we've got um, three yeses, three maybes, and two noes. And so this is just an example of taking arrays of data or lists of data points and turning them into tables or frequency distributions so that we can get the total number of observations for each particular value in the variable.